In this video, I'm going to take a look at how we go about sketching a T half and joint. So as usual, I've got my isometric rib paper, and I'm going to set this up by drawing a line at 30 degrees, just a sketch line, light line, and I'm going to mark off a few distances, uh, three fives to be exact, I'm going to come to a depth of three squares. So then I'll complete a section, I'll have that three squares down that way, and I have the top part of the piece, and I'll section that out. Measuring five squares here, and each square is meant to be represented 10 millimeters. So it should be fairly close to what we want to get proportion wise. I'm measuring down eight squares below this center section here. You can see it's continued in a kind of solid line. This line I'm after drawing is in the middle, so you're drawing between two squares because it's three squares in depth. And then when we're sure of what we want to draw in heavy, we can go about uh, filling in the sections heavy. That middle section. The line should be breaking across it, so um, very important to get that look for the T half and joint. Now, like I said, the squares are 10 millimeters in size, or representing 10 millimeters in size, even though uh, it'll be kind of close representation of our 44s. So here I'm going to draw in a bit of end grain just to show that it's uh, wood, and we can make it look a little bit more like a, an actual piece. Put in my sizes here, like I said, 44, which is the closest we have to the five squares. I think it looks better proportion wise rather than going four. And this piece here is in the middle. So the piece is made out of 30 millimeter stuff. If it was 20 millimeters, you'd obviously have 10 and 10 because it's in half the T having. Uh, but in this case, it's 15. So there we have our sizes with the exception of our A and B and face side, face edge. And out on the right hand side here, we can actually include the overall height of it which lets us know what the size of piece B is as well so 44 and 80 and we have enough information in that there to make the piece but I'm going to draw a setting out piece and I'm going to start by drawing a line at 30 degrees measure off one square measure five measure another five and five and that is actually part A give a space of something like three squares that's going to be waste in the middle we wouldn't be measuring it in a way measure eight for piece B and then five and one more and we go out to depth of five and as you can see it's a snug fit on the page there's not really a whole pile of room uh, to play with there and I just complete the block I use my parallel lines of the 30 degrees again and sometimes it can be handy just to keep drawing uh, the same line type line uh, along the way because you're practicing and you're getting better at getting your lines each time even turning the sheet may be handy for you as well rather than seeing the way that I'm drawing it here and I've got my spacings here now, I'm going for the middle line in these sections. And the whole idea of this setting out piece, while it's not necessary for you to draw it, um, is that you're able to hold your piece uh, in front of the sketch and you should be able to match your own piece up to that there. If it isn't matching that there, it isn't right, there's something wrong, it should be exactly as this is. Because if we were to separate or cut off each of the waist pieces on this here now, what we would be able to do is just take them and join them up as you see in the pictorial view or the isometric view. So don't draw anything heavy until the very end when you're certain and you can see waistlines being marked in here and this is our piece as it would be if it was set out and matching enough A and B and your face side, face edge and that is our setting out complete of the tea bridle. You can slow down the video as well speed wise if you want to go back and look over these things if it uh, down to a pace that suits you can be handy just to watch it through first and then go back and slow it down for each of the parts that you want to draw. Just take your time at it and you will improve as you keep, keep practicing. 